Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara points to bombed out supply routes from North Vietnam. Routes that have supplied Reds in the South with weapons, like this Chinese machine gun, as well as troops trained by the Communists. Discounting the possibility of using nuclear weapons, Mr. McNamara says that our air raids have knocked out 24 key bridges. He says these strikes will continue because intelligence reports have confirmed that regular North Vietnam Army troops have infiltrated the South. He specified men of the 325th Division. I can't be too specific or accurate in estimating the size of that uh, battalion. I would guess it's on the order of four or 500 men. Uh, as to its significance, I think it's primarily significant in indicating that the North Vietnamese have used up or dried up the source of, of individual fillers who could be recruited, trained, and sent back to fight in South Vietnam, and that they're now having to call upon the regular units of their forces for that purpose. And this is understandable. I believe I'm correct in saying that in the past four and a half years, the Viet Cong, the communists, have lost 89,000 men killed in South Vietnam. Now, not all of these men have been infiltrated from the North, but an important number have been. And with that, plus the expansion of the Viet Cong forces in the South, you can see the heavy drain upon the filler resources of the North and the reason why they are having to turn to their regular military units to continue the supply of men over these infiltration routes, a supply that's absolutely essential to them if they are to offset the continuing casualties.